Hey guys, just wanted to do a demo of my new Unreal Engine um, asset. It's the basic grid snap building and turret system. What it does is it allows you to build different actors on a grid based system, whether it's a square or a hexagonal system. Um, and it includes a wall and two different types of turrets that will then shoot and have different effects for you to play with. Diving right in, if you open up the main folder, the most important things here are the blueprints folder, which is going to contain basically everything that makes this work in the HUD, which is the uh, display with any buttons and interfaces that the user sees. The demo folder is mostly um, the world and Unreal Engine assets that were used to make this. Under blueprints, we're going to find the grid BP and the tile BP. Under grid BP, that's where we edit how this grid is made. So let's go in and look at the variables. We can see the height and width variables. These change how many columns and rows are being generated. So if you make these bigger, we can make a bigger map. The offset here changes the spacing between each of them. So if I set an offset, and we go back to our map, we can see that the hexagons have spaces between them now. Let's also look at this variable called hexagon question mark. If we uncheck that, making it false, it'll actually change the whole map into squares instead of hexagons. I'm going to recheck that because personally, I think the hexagons look cooler. Um, the rest of these are auto set variables by the code. Uh, those are really the things that you might have to change. So we'll go back and we'll go in the build items folder. Here we have a build item master. So if you want to create any walls or anything um, or turrets, they're going to have to be a subclass of this. Under the walls folder, we can see we have the blueprint for the wall. And then under turrets, we have our projectiles and turrets. This is the master turret blueprint, and if you want to create another turret that works kind of the same way that mine do, you're going to need to make them a child of this master. Real quick, turret one. Here we have three folders with the arm, barrel, and base pieces. And if we open this up, and we um, take a look at the viewport, we can see this is turret number one. It has a few different pieces that can turn independent from each other, the footer, the base, the arm, the barrel. And then there's um, two projectile spawn locations. In this one, since there's only one barrel, we're going to set those to the same location. I'm going to open up turret number two so we can see some of the differences with that. So for turret number two, we can see this one has some particle effects and things. Um, but you can see these arrows represent the two barrel locations, and it alternates back and forth between them. And here you can also change some of the particle systems um, and which projectiles are being used and that sort of thing. That's, uh, that's all contained inside these documents. Okay, and then let's go back to the turrets folder and look at projectiles. We have the cannon and particle projectile, as well as a master blueprint for uh, projectiles in general. The particle projectile is um, a sparking projectile. And the, uh, the other one is the cannon projectile. which is just a small sphere, but you can also change the impact emitters and those sorts of things so that it's creating the effects that you want. Um, but to show some of that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, play this. And once we get loaded into the world here, you can see we can walk around on our grid. If you hit B, or B for the build menu, it's a very simple menu, but it's, it's just to prove the point of placing these items with the wall we can 
walk around and where our camera is facing will highlight red to indicate where that would be built. And if we click, we have our wall item being spawned. Because we have an offset, we have a little gap in between, but if you made no offset, you could use this as sort of a base building thing. You could have walls, different types of walls. You could place uh, workbenches or, or any sort of actor blueprints you wanna create. Really, this is just a method to place something. So if I hit B again, then that takes us out of build mode. I'm gonna hit B again to go into the build menu and I'm gonna place uh, turret one. And we can see we have this cannon here and it shoots the projectiles with the explosion. And when we move up and down, we can see that the turret will move up and down, left, right, and uh, try to follow us accordingly. So I'm gonna go back into that build menu and get turret number two to show the same idea and build that. So turret number two is this dual cannon shiny high tech turret with these, um, these sparking projectiles that when they hit you, they stick and um, burn with sparks. And you can uh, place as many of these as you want on the map. Oops. Um, didn't mean to exit there. Let me go back in and start a new round and to show that we can place tons of these in the wall fire. Uh, if you were building some sort of whether tower defense game or even like a, a building game where um, you're building some sort of fortress and these are your defense, you're gonna wanna change it so that they target an enemy. However, you can see that when I am out of range of these turrets, they're no longer following. Um, And then also that if we build a wall, we can use that to block the blast of these turrets. So from this angle, we can see that there are explosions on the other side of the wall from the cannons hitting it, um, but those are, are blocked. Anyway, so that's just a real quick demo of uh, this asset pack, which again is available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. I'll put a link in the description. Um, love to hear your feedback. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next time.